when it comes to animated masks in the Flame products. One question that always gets asked is how do you offset a vertex that already contains animation? For instance, the animation may have been tracked or keyframed, but now you'd like to move the same vertices and keep the original animation. If you're using the GMOS Tracer, keep watching from this point. And if you're using the older GMOSK toolset, you can skip ahead to later in this video. So here is a mask that has been tracked within the GMOSK Tracer. The animation is occurring at the vertex level of the spline and not at the object or axis level. Now to offset vertices, you need to know that there are actually two animation channels at the vertex level. One that contains tracking data and the other that can be used for offsetting a vertex. So Flame tracks the vertices and moves the tracking data into a channel known as Track Shape. You could expose this in the Animation Editor. However, when you select a mask spline, you are not looking at the Track Shape channel by default. In fact, you are looking at the Shape channel which only contains a keyframe on the first frame. So to offset a vertex of the spline, turn on AUTO KEY and adjust a vertex or multiple vertices. If you wanted to position your offset using a different frame, then you would need to delete the keyframe at frame 1 to avoid animating the offset. When you scrub the time bar, the original animation is still applied to those vertices. As a tip, if you wanted to see the track shape animation in the time bar, ensure the mask's controls are visible and switch to the vertices menu. Here you can enable Edit Track. This will automatically select the track shape channel and now you're able to edit the animation on this channel. Remember that the channel is keyframed, so you may need AUTO KEY to adjust this channel. This is the typical method if a vertex has been tracked and offset. But you can also use these channels if you've manually keyframed a vertex and then performed a secondary offset. So it's pretty quick in the GMOS Tracer to offset a spline's animated vertices. If you are working in the older GMOS tools, it's also pretty easy to offset a spline's animated vertices. However, this method is different because vertex animation is only stored in a single animation channel unlike the two animation channels found in the GMOSK Tracer. So here is an animated mask and the animation is occurring at the vertices level of the spline and not at the object or axis level. In order to offset an animated vertex, click the Tools pull down menu. In the list, choose the Trans Keys mode. You can now select and move the vertices on the spline. Please note that you do not need to enable AUTO KEY to use this tool. This edits the position information of the selected vertex in a single animated channel and the change is applied to every keyframe over time. Once you're done, you can scrub the time bar and the original animation is still applied to those vertices, but with an offset. So in conclusion, the older GMOS toolset uses only one animation channel to manage all its vertex animation and any vertex offsetting. Whereas the GMOS Tracer uses two channels to independently adjust vertex animation and any vertex offsetting. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos and thanks for watching.